my hand is, is Le Freak. It's a sort of Belgian-inspired or counter-inspired ale. And then also what we have on tap over here, uh, here at the Copenhagen Beer Celebration, is Serrano Chili Double Stout. It's uh, been quite a hit today as well. And where we've infused uh, Serrano chilies into our regular double stout at about uh, half a kilo per 50 liters. So it's a lot of chilies, but we, we stem and seed it uh, by hand so that it's not too hot. And it's up just kind of with a medium spice and not too, you know, just a little bit of heat. Uh, you pick up a lot of coffee and the chocolate notes. I think when you tasted it, you, you actually asked if there was coffee, yeah. So, uh, but it's just all from the dark malts and uh, you know, roasted barley, etc. So, but back to the Belgian beers, you are inquiring about the Belgian beers. And uh, Le Freak is a, for me, it's a special beer. Um, in, in its creation of the beer, and also, uh, if, you, if you consider it like a category, some people call it uh, Belgian IPA. Or, you know, for me, I think if you put it in a category, it's just a, you know, a, a special or specialty uh, beer. So it's a kind of a convergence of styles between Belgian triple and Imperial IPA, where we have the Trappist style yeast, and then we have a, a lot of American hops in there. There's a Summit and Nugget, so intense and pungent and fruity, and then a Amarillo on the, on the finish, on the dry hop makes it very, uh, you know, floral and a little citrus component, which actually, overall, the combination of those hops blending with that Belgian yeast gives it a very orange, zesty kind of quality. And it's a, it is very orangey, also almost like orange zest, orange pith, uh, orange marmalade-like. Uh, but it ends up being a very phenomenally good beer with a lot of different foods. And uh, so anyway, we do some uh, other Belgian styles. We do a Saison, we do a triple. Um, obviously, Le Freak is a very special beer with its you know, more hoppy uh, approach. And then, uh, are you guys knocking off? That's the way to behave at a beer festival. <laughs> awesome, cheers. Uh, but we, we do some barrel aged versions too. So we'll take uh, our Le Freak and put it in a red wine barrel and age it. Uh, with uh, Britannomyces, and so the Britannomyces will dry the beer out and give it a, a whole transformation or transmogrification of flavor profile. Gives it a, a wild uh, overall character with the aromatics changing, um, and the, the hop is less uh, apparent, and then uh, I get, you get some good uh, barrel notes from French oak, and a little vanilla hint, and but a really, you know, fun, wild uh, character from the from the Britannomyces. So we do the same thing with our saison, uh, and then um, but when we do the aging of the Lafreak, we call it Super Freak when it transmogrifies. And then the same thing with the saison becomes Little Freak because it's a smaller beer. So kind of a, a fun naming of the beers. But uh, we we are playing around with some other versions of the with the Britannomyces. Uh, we're starting to use some fruit and. Uh, the, the most recent one is uh, Plum Little Freak or Plum Freak, and it came out fabulous. Uh, we we drank it all, so I didn't send any here to Copenhagen, but uh, we're, we're making more because it, it went over so well. Uh, what else can I tell you about? Uh, any questions about some of the other? Oh no, there is one more that I should talk about because you're asking about Belgian styles. So one more style that we have, and we have it on tap tomorrow, uh, the final session, with Super Freak, so you can taste that tomorrow. But we also have a beer called Flanders Drive. And uh, Flanders Drive is our, the cross street of where our new uh, brewing facility is. It's been three years now. Um, but I had been researching the, the Flanders style and how to make it. and. So I finally, when we decided to move and relocate, I was inspired uh, not only by the recipe I'd been working on, but also by our new location and decided to go ahead and brew that beer. So we have Flanders Drive, uh, you know, sour red ale. Uh, you, I don't want to say Flemish style because, you know, we made it in America, but, you know, of course, that's the inspiration for the beer. 
And uh, so that's something that we're going to keep making because it's, it's done very well. We got a bronze medal at the European Beer Star. And uh, so we, it's something that we're also very proud of and we enjoy it. So, so we're, we're dabbling in, in you know, a lot of different styles. So, anyway, cheers. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.